Jesus Christ. Going to old pictures on my phone, I can't believe some of the mistakes that I used to make. Wow. Anyway, my name is Vladimir Rache from ChaseAndRouter.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the seven style mistakes and how to correct them. The bad news, these mistakes can really have you out here looking crazy. But the good news, we can easily fix them. And a couple of them, you don't even have to spend a dime. Intro. You should come rolling my sh Number one is wearing ill-fitting suits. And by ill-fitting suits, I'm talking about wearing your suits too tight. This mistake hardly happens with guys that hate to dress up because those guys usually wear all their clothes too big. Guys that are into fashion and like to dress up are the ones that usually suffer from this syndrome. They don't want to be confused with the guys that hate to dress up, so they go to the other extreme. Also, some of these magazines that we hold dear are very misleading because all their models are usually pictured in suits that are a couple size too small. There's a huge misconception in menswear that the right fit is a tight fit and nothing could be further from the truth. I agree that your suit shouldn't be too big, but it also shouldn't be too tight. Not knowing there's a middle ground is where a lot of us guys go wrong. Speaking from experience, that was the hardest mistake to correct because first I had to admit that I was wearing my suits too tight the whole time and nobody likes to be wrong, you know what I mean? But once you master fit, you're more than halfway to be considered well-dressed. I think a lot of guys know that fit is the most important part when it comes to their wardrobe. They just don't know what the right fit is. A few signs that your suit is too tight. If the lapel is not laying flat on your chest, instead it curves like this, that's a good sign that your suit is too tight. If there's a lot of tension on the button, it looks like if you sneeze, your button can fly out and take somebody's eye out. That's another good sign that your jacket might be too tight. When you're standing up, your jacket should be able to cover your whole seat. If not, the jacket is too short. One last thing with the pants. When you're standing straight, if I can look down and see your socks, that's a good sign that your pants are too short. What happens a lot of time is when you go shop at a store, some of the salespeople already have a certain aesthetic that they're trying to fit you into. They don't have your best interest at heart. One way to fix this is when you go suit shopping, take a friend with you. Also, I would advise to have some pictures in your phone of how you want your suits to fit. And when you're trying on your suit, have your friend tell you how close is your fit compared to the picture. Another great thing is to have a tailor that you trust and tell them exactly what you're looking to accomplish. Style mistake number two is buttoning both buttons on your jacket. Now I said both buttons because I'm only talking about two button suits as 99% of the suits out there are usually two buttons now. If you happen to be wearing a three button suit, the rules are sometimes, always, and never. Those are referring to the three buttons. But thankfully you don't really have to worry about that because there aren't really that many three button suits out there left. That's one of the easy ones to fix. For your two button suit, always button the top button and never the bottom button. Mistake number three is matching your tie and pocket square. Now this one is one that I see a lot and I get it because it's not really our fault. Some stores actually sell the tie and pocket square as a set where the tie and pocket square is cut from the same fabric. And as men, we like easy. We like not having to think about something and just doing it. If your tie and pocket square is cut from the same fabric and you buy it together, what could possibly be easier than that? But that's the problem. Nothing screams out amateur more than having your tie and pocket square cut from the same fabric. One way to fix that is to have the tie and pocket square complement each other but never be a perfect match. That one could be a little bit complicated. I'm gonna make a whole video on how to complement your tie and pocket square. When I do have it, I'll include a link and you also see it in the card somewhere up there. Another easy way to fix that is by wearing white pocket squares like I'm doing right now. You can never really go wrong with a white pocket square as it goes with every color tie that you're wearing. Mistake number four is wearing mid-calf socks. Contrary to popular belief, nobody wanna see your hairy legs, man. And the dudes that wear the mid-calf socks are always the first that wanna cross their legs when they're sitting down. <laughs> the way to fix that is I recommend that you buy over-the-calf socks. They're a little bit pricier than their shorter alternative, but so worth it because your hairy legs should only be on display at the beach, not when you're wearing your suit. Style mistake number five is wearing a huge tie knot. Your tie knot is very important as it sits right below your face and it's one of the first things that people people see when they're speaking to you. I was the king of the double Windsor, so I get it. But I look at some of my old pictures now and cringe at how big I used to wear my tie knot. When it comes to tie knots, bigger is not better. And as my wife once said, the guys that were the big tie knots must be compensating for a lack of size somewhere else. That's what she said. To fix it, I recommend tying a four and hand knot every time. It's one of the simplest knots as it doesn't have that many steps to learn compared to something like a double Windsor and it looks 10 times better. Style mistake number six is wearing dirty shoes. 
It's one thing to wear nice shoes, but to wear nice shoes that are clean is taking your shoe game to the next level. A nice shine can make an older pair of shoes look new. It can also make a mediocre shoe look decent. At the same time, a lack of shine can make the nicest shoes look ordinary. That one is easily correctable. Personally, I like to shine my shoes myself as I find it therapeutic. But if that's not your thing, that's cool. I recommend taking it to a professional to get your shoes clean. Anybody can go to the store and buy some nice shoes, but it shows that you care when you go the extra mile to make sure that your shoes are always clean. And style mistake number seven is wearing these crazy colored shirts. You know exactly which ones I'm talking about. Yellow shirts, green shirts, burgundy shirts, orange shirts, red shirts. Come on, man, that's crazy. When it comes to your shirts, you really shouldn't have every color of the rainbow in your closet. And I get it, sometimes you wanna make a statement and you're like, I'm gonna kill them with this orange shirt. Nah, don't do it, man. If you wanna make a statement, make the statement with your tie. It's perfectly acceptable to wear a nice orange tie, but an orange shirt, nah, I wouldn't do it. You can never go wrong with white and light blue shirts, so keep it simple when it comes to your shirts. Let me know in the comments if there's any mistakes that I left out. So that was my seven style mistakes and how to correct them. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe, or everybody gonna think that you're a hater, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.